With the release of the iPhone X and the removal of the home button on that device, Apple had to come up with some multi-touch gestures to replace what could be done with the home button. In iOS 12, these gestures will now work on any iPad, with a home button or not. Most likely in the fall of 2018, Apple's going to release new iPad Pros that don't have a home button, which is going to require gestures to access things like the App Switcher and Control Center. So here on my iPad with a home button, we can now swipe up, stop, then release to bring up the App Switcher. From here I can scroll over to view all the open apps. Tap to jump into one. From within an app we can still bring up the dock with a short swipe up from the bottom. To get to the app switcher from within an app, we need, again need to swipe up about halfway up the display, stop, and release. Swipe up on an app here in Control Center to close it. When you're in an app, swipe up and over, sort of in an arc, to jump into the next open app without viewing the app switcher. We can do this from left to right or right to left to move in either direction. Double pressing the home button in iOS 12 is still going to bring up the app switcher, but notice that we don't have control center available here in the app switcher. With iOS 11 on an iPad, Control Center would appear on the right side of the App Switcher. Now to view Control Center on any iPad in iOS 12, we need to swipe down from the upper right corner, just as it's done on the iPhone X. So these gestures are just preparing us for a future without a home button, on either our iPhones or iPads. So it's a good idea to get used to them now.